I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. The IPCC Cities Conference wrapped up in Edmonton, Alberta. We ran a billboard campaign to welcome delegates. The Calgary Sun reported on March the 5th, 2018, that IPCC Chair Wei Sung Lee said those skeptics of climate change should use scientific journals rather than billboards to disseminate their message. Publish your findings of research in a peer-reviewed journal so that the IPCC can assess objectively, he said. Well, that's what our scientific advisors do. Example, Dr. Madhav Kandekar, our Canadian scientific advisor, has over 150 peer-reviewed papers. Here's a popular chapter of his about sea level rise, which has more than 7,000 downloads. Global warming, glacier melt, and sea level rise, new perspectives. According to many scientists who are skeptical of climate change dogma, the IPCC is far from objective. They say it is commercial interests in green energy that now contribute to the climate scare, which has become a trillion dollar industry that has compromised cost and security of energy supply. IPCC Chair Wei Sang Lee of South Korea and the climate folk were in Edmonton advocating that Alberta should decarbonize, phase out coal and go to renewables, but let's see how South Korea is doing in that regard. According to EU energy expert Professor Samuel Ferfari, South Korea is the world's 13th largest economy, 8th largest trading nation, an energy intensive country with almost no energy resources. Professor Ferfari notes that the increase of CO2 emissions in South Korea is impressive. The US EIA reports that South Korea relies on imports to meet about 98% of its fossil fuel consumption. The country is one of the world's leading energy importers. It is the fourth largest coal importer, second largest LNG importer, has a large oil refining sector, but relies entirely on imports of oil supply. Look at that. All our competitor nations serve South Korea. But other than about a billion dollars worth of coal, looks like the resource-rich Canada sector is out of the game. So how do they power South Korea with electricity? Well, two-thirds of their electricity comes from coal and natural gas, one-third from nuclear. But, but what about renewables? South Korea's Samsung is literally a powerhouse in the wind business. But South Korea barely uses renewables. Canada, in fact Ontario, is one of their largest markets and we know how decarbonization has worked out for Ontario. Bankrupt. In reality, it's nuclear and hydro that power Ontario. Ironically, South Korea is a tiny country with a huge population of 51 million. So maybe the IPCC chair and South Korea should lead the way in decarbonizing before we Albertans put our economy at risk. Let's see South Korea phase out coal and run on wind and solar before we go any further. And that's why we put up our billboards. The public should know that many scientists are concerned about evidence of corruption of climate science and misdirection by the IPCC. Skeptical scientists say many peer-reviewed studies have been omitted, compromised, or dismissed by the IPCC process. We put up billboards because the public and policymakers should know that wind and solar cannot support basic society. that solar anywhere north of 35th north latitude is an energy sink, that wind triples the cost of power, at least, and makes the grid less reliable, that wind and solar do not address climate change or CO2 reduction. Power generation experts say it is a total madness to continue down this path. We put up billboards because the public should know that carbon dioxide, CO2, is not the control knob that can fine-tune climate. So there's no need for carbon taxes, no need for cap and trade, and no justification for decarbonization. We put up billboards to get your attention, to share our scientific information, to make you think. Do you think Alberta should hold off on more wind and solar until South Korea proves how cost-efficient and reliable they are? Post your thoughts on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet. 
Get a selfie with our Edmonton billboards like Dr. Catherine Hayhoe did. Tell your friends and neighbors how climate change catastrophe propaganda has affected your life. Like thousands of Albertans and Canadians are jobless thanks to the IPCC and its faulty claims on carbon dioxide, which skeptical scientists say are wildly exaggerated. That makes me feel mad. How about you? For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.